cannot be owned. It cannot belong. But our Saguna attachments also, we bring in also. So, because we still want uh, something. Hey guys, so during this time I took out the background noise since I'm going to be speeding up the clip and basically I'm setting my timer I'm taking off my glasses I usually don't like to work out with my glasses on um, and so this machine it's called a water rower and it's basically the same thing I'm sure if you've done like CrossFit or that type of workout you've you've done or seen a rowing machine so it's an all body workout machine um, to help with the cardio and also just to help with overall like body workout um, right now since I'm in my recovery from a work injury um, this is the lowest impact workout that I can do although I can you know I could also do like water aerobics and things like that but um I'm working on being more cost efficient in my health so you know not to say that having a membership somewhere is not beneficial it is but at the same time you know, I've had memberships at gyms and things like that. And you kind of have to really go on their schedule or um, the teacher's schedule as far as like when they're going to be offering the class. And, you know, I would prefer to be able to work out on my own schedule. And so I've had this machine for a little while, about a about two years or so um initially I worked out um here and there I wasn't very serious about it but I was serious enough to get the machine and because I liked that workout overall the first time I used a, a rowing machine was at uh CrossFit when I joined a, cro a local CrossFit um CrossFit didn't quite work out either because of the hours if you've ever looked into you know some of the hours it um they start really really early and they end kind of early so um they had some evening classes but because of my work schedule um the type of work that I do you know it required um at the time and I'm sure currently even though I'm you know I'm not working in the field at the moment um it required a lot of overtime and you know when you're working a lot of overtime and things like that, it can be difficult to really focus um, on your health. And um, that's why I had started to gain so much weight. And then that's also what contributed to me being injured was working so much overtime and, um, you know, not really exercising and not really eating. I was eating a lot of fast food um, because if you've, I know I know you've had either internet installed or cable installed. You know, those those people, you know, were basically in our truck all day. Um even when we do stop for lunch, you know, a lot of times it's just really on the go and um you know, about a year or so ago I started really changing how I was eating and you know, more I start taking my my food but even that was was um kind of difficult as well because um it's not like there's refrigeration and a lot of the stuff that I was taking you know it needed to be in a cooler place hey guys Alicia here so just did a quick workout um and so I'm going to just insert some clips so I'm starting off with doing um, 15 minutes 
on my water rower. Um, I'm having to build back up because of the back injury. I Before, I was able to um, hit about 45 minutes or so um, doing it, which was great. Um, but then I got injured and so I had to stop working out for a minute and then I've been gradually working back up to that. So I started with less than 10 minutes for a bit and then after that I increased it so right now I'm at 15 minutes so making sure to get you know my cardio in um, today is January 1st so you know definitely had to um, make sure I got my workout in today I feel great right now I just finished um, a moment ago I did my stretching and things like that um, but yeah so I'm gonna be recording I'm going to start um, with the content that I've been, you know, putting together on the last part of 2019 and start actually delivering that and uploading it, um, you know, delivering on my prom my promise to myself, really, you know, my goal that I set to um, upload more regularly and to, um, you know, bring a fresh perspective to information that's out there, but um, I feel has um, either gone over people's heads or that hasn't really reached um, certain uh, groups of people. So um, I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday and and um, start to enjoy your the year of 2020. Peace, guys.